examples of getting through doors. Um, it takes a little practice and it is a little frustrating for some people. I hear some people just take off their doors. <laughs> it's not necessary. Um, it just takes a little practice. And I'm going to leave some other links from YouTube. There are some good examples uh, also of getting through doors, probably better than I can do. Um, but um, they are very similar to the manual wheelchairs. We have more power and more strength to get through doors. So that is good news. Manual wheelchair uh, users do get through doors. Uh, they have a little bit more of a struggle because they're doing everything manually. They're pushing themselves and propelling themselves backwards and then forward to get through a door. So I, I find that you know pretty uh, scary. I think I did it a couple of times when I was in my manual wheelchair. Uh, but it is uh, it requires some strength and some speed <laughs> to do it. But in a power wheelchair, we don't have those issues because um, we have speed and we have strength in our power wheelchair. So um, so this is this is good news. So I have some clips here on how to get through a manual door and uh, a little bit of a difference in in my bedroom door and it has a bit of a spring to it so it closes it doesn't slam behind me it just closes gently so that might be <coughs> very very useful uh, the other thing is that in this video I was not able to give you an example of a push bar door <coughs> but I think a push bar door is kind of obvious if you can do a manual manual door then you can do a push bar bo door because the technique is the same it's just you have to push the the, the bar to open the door and you keep on holding it, holding it, holding it until you drive completely out of the door. So past the door. So so that that is basically it. Um, glass doors, you want to go a little bit slower. Uh, you want to go to your far right and then open that door and you know keep that door away from you <laughs> as you drive through. <laughs> and keep on going. Don't wait for it to close because it's going to hit the back part of your wheelchair and it might break. So <laughs> if, it, if you have somebody to open the door for you, then that's better. <laughs> Glass doors, I always you know, do it slowly and I think it through every time I'm going through a glass door. Um, but a lot of these glass doors these days uh, do have push, bu uh, uh, push buttons so you can get through without you know, in it much trouble. Uh, you can also ask your therapist to teach you how to get through doors so you have more of a one-on-one -on -one example of how to do that. But I will leave some links so that you can uh, take a look and there are some clips that I'm going to add here uh, so you can see me doing that. Uh, and then I talk a little bit about the push bar doors. Uh, they're usually made out of wood or other materials. They're usually not glass. So, but sometimes they are. All right, so uh, that is, let's go forward with this video. And today I'm going to do a fantastic attempt <laughs> to uh, do some examples of handling doors. Um, I'm going to do a manual door and then I'm gonna do an automatic door then I'll do another manual push bar door. So there's going to be a couple of doors here. The first one's going to be my bedroom. And I'm going to explain a little bit about my bedroom door. So excuse me as I disappear because there's too much light behind me. There we go. Okay. I'm going to turn you around and talk about that. Okay, there. Here is my door. You can see there's a handicap or, you know, accessible handle. And then up there, you're going to see a little different of a spring. You're going to see a little spike that comes out of it. And that is a spring that helps the door close uh, once I am done. So, um, you know, once I'm done, the door closes on its own, so I don't have to worry about that part. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my power wheelchair out of the way of the door. See, the door's over there, and I'm over here to the right, and I'm going to open it that way. It doesn't touch the wheelchair at all. And then I scoot out. And the door closes on its own. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't have to worry about that. Okay. We're going to go down the hall to an automated door. Hope you're enjoying this little tour. This is an automatic door and it has a push button. And so I don't have to touch the door at all, which is great. Okay, I'm gonna do the push button. Door is going to open. I'm just going to let it close. I have a key to this door. Take out the key. There goes the door. So notice that I am at the far right of the door. It doesn't hit me at all. And I can go back in. All right, I was not able to go to the pavilion uh, because it was locked. So what I will, I will show you, you know, the basics of the push bar I uh, similar to, similar, no, it's not similar. Um, I'm going to show you here uh, so that you have an idea and then you'll have to practice because this is all about practicing. Really, it is all about practicing. You can see it in the video. Sorry about the light behind my, my phone will adapt. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna turn around. All right, so imagine there's a push bar on that door. So I'm gonna come right up to the door. I'm going to put my hand on the push bar. Okay, I'm going to come up here close to the door. I'm going to put my hand on the push bar and I'm going to keep on pushing. You're going to drive with your right hand or your left hand with your joystick. And with the other hand, you're going to push that bar and keep on pushing the door open. And that is how you will get out. <laughs> so hand on the push bar, you push the door, push the door and you drive yourself out. When you're completely out, you let go and the door will close on its own. So that is the technique. <laughs> that is the basics of the technique of the push bar. Um, and you'll have to practice again, you know, on how, how that feels um, when you are ready. But Basically, if you're opening a regular door, you put yourself to the far right and you open with the other hand, you open uh, the handle, whichever it is. If it's a turn handle or a push down handle, 
um, and you saw the automatic door, so so that was good. Um, so there are all kinds of doors, and there are glass doors that are a little bit more spookier to open. <laughs> but um, yeah, you just have to be careful with glass doors um, that your footrest doesn't, you know, ram into it. Uh, basically, with glass doors, you want to you want to have yourself to the far right if it has a handle to your far right and then you open it with your other hand and you either push down on the lever and you pull the door past you and you drive through it. So uh, just like we did with the wooden door, just like we did with the wooden door. So um, you either turn the knob and you pull the door open past you and you drive through um, and then uh, let go of the door, you know, and sometimes you, you just don't bother closing it and someone else can close it for you or leave it open if you're coming back through. So, um, and again, on my door, I have a spring. I'll show it to you again. Let's go over there. There we go. Turning around. I'm going to go into the dark here. Okay. I'm going to turn you guys around. Okay, way up there. Let's see if I can make it bigger. No, I can't make it bigger. But you'll see a little, a little stick coming out of it. And that is part of the spring mechanism. And you can make it tight or you can make it a little bit loose. Just depends. So you can go to um, Home Depot. Home Depot, yeah, Home Depot. And you can ask them for a, a spring of a certain size with a uh, with a spring in it so that um, it can open and close for you. So those are the those are the types of, of spring doors we have and it's just one. It doesn't have to be both or all three. So uh, so let me turn around again here. Sorry, probably making you dizzy. <laughs> but those are the examples I have. I'm going to shut you off now. Uh, but that is the, the video, and I will add from my computer. All right, so those are my examples. Um, I would say practice, you know, at every chance you get. Uh, you know, and I certainly will leave some links with some better examples of going through doors. And this will be manual wheelchairs that are doing it. Um, I learn from them uh, and I watch the videos carefully and then I practice uh, through all different kinds of doors, uh, especially the glass ones, <laughs> those scared me. But once I got uh, uh, a handle on it, then, you know, it made sense. And I, you know, I do well now. So, uh, and it'll be a matter of adapting your doors. Um, I want to show you one more picture, and I'll add there of a door. I put a string on it, so in case it doesn't have a spring in the hinge, and I need to close it, when I turn around, there's a string, and I can grab the string and, and pull it closed. Uh, because if you try to grab the handle, it, it's going to bump into your wheelchair. So you need to be a little bit closer to the hinge side of the door and pull the string. So uh, that's like the cheapest <laughs> uh, technique you can use. I'll see if I have a picture of it. If not, I know for sure I'll have a picture of it in this video here at the end. All right. <laughs> if you have any questions, uh, please look at the links in the description box, and those will show you some, some really good uh, film, filmed examples. You know, because I'm filming all this by myself, uh, these people had another person filming them, obviously, and um, it looks much better. <laughs> so <laughs> but this is uh, my attempt, so to give some examples. <laughs> all right. Take care. And I'll see you 
in the next video.